Hello, uh, it's Mr. Peckett here. I'm going to show you a little bit about the basics of getting to grips with uh, starting to use Google Classroom. So um, the first thing I want to show you is once you've logged into your Google Drive, which we should all be, which we're all doing from the last lockdown, um, you should be able to see something like this, which when we click gives us our year groups and we would normally go in and select our work from there. Um, however, what we are looking to do now is move over to this app that's Google Classroom, which is a lot more sophisticated and puts everything that we've been doing into one place. So the best way to access Google Classroom from here is to click in the top corner here, you can see these nine dots. And then just here is classroom. If you click that, I'll open it in a new tab for you. And what you'll be able to see when you log on here would be just your child's specific classroom. So I've got lots of them here because this is a, a test um, account. However, when you log on, you'll only be able to see your child's one. So if we use my class as an example, you click on the class and this brings you into this page, which is our classroom. Um, You'll see here, there are three tabs across the top. We've got our stream, our classwork, and people. And uh, the stream is basically like a Twitter feed or like a Facebook um, post on Facebook. However, it's uh, more secure and isn't uh, able to be viewed externally outside of the classroom. And what appears on here is whenever work gets posted or whenever um, teachers need to announce a certain thing, we'll, they'll post it on this stream. So anything important that you need will be on this stream. Now what we've started, what we're going to start doing is every morning when you have uh, live lessons, you'll find those links on there as well, but we'll talk about those in a, another video. Uh, next across the top, you've got your classwork. Now our classwork is all gonna be grouped by day. So all you need to do is find the corresponding day and then you'll find the work in there as well. Um, what you will find, what we've started to do with um, ours is we've done a vote uh, each day because we're reading some short stories for our novel so you may find there's um, this little thing here with a question mark it means there's a question you need to answer so it might be um, what is your favorite color it might just be something the teachers are trying to ascertain for a certain lesson um, and then you've also got your work as well it's all grouped by the lesson as well so you've got your maths you've got your english and then you've also got some of your creative curriculum and your your non-core subjects some spanish and things like that now you'll notice that some of them are green and some of them are gray now the gray ones are what's called material when you uh, have a material post if i click here view material this will basically give you the work for today's lesson. However, it doesn't need to be submitted. What it needs to be is self-marked. So you'll see here, if I click these, there's PDFs there for us to work on, and I'll show you how to do that in the next video. But um, these don't need to be um, submitted. What we do is we'd like you to work on those uh, on digitally, and I'll show you that in a second, and then answer these questions. And then the answers to the questions will be posted at three o'clock for you to then answer uh, to mark your own. Now, if you get some work that is a material like this, what you will also find in your um, your day's work is a self-assessment. So if I look at yesterday's, you'll see the maths work here was set as a material because it's gray, but then there was also a self-assessment quiz. And it says, let us know how you got on with your maths work. And then I would be able to tick if I was very secure, if I thought I'd done really well, if I was a bit too sure, I wasn't too sure I needed a bit of help, or if I was really struggling, then I can click that. And that's basically our way of keeping on top of seeing how everyone was getting on. So we need that to be really honest, and need the children to be really um, on top of that. Same one for English there as well. Um, if you have a green icon like this, that means there's something that needs to be submitted. This is what's called an assignment. So if I click it and do view assignment today, uh, Miss Gwynn is doing a lesson, a live lesson at 11, some input about Linda's farm, and we want the children to uh, either write a letter or a poem. And what we'd like with that is it to be written and submitted. And in the next video, I'll show you how to do that as well. Uh, the final tab, if I go back across the top, is people. And all that is just tells you who's in your class and which teachers have access to it. But you don't really need to worry about that one. It's only these two that are the important ones for you. Okay. And I will explain in the next video how we uh, how you can join a meeting, how you can join your live lessons.